Anyway, so I woke up today and saw what I consider a stunning revelation, but maybe it's not. Maybe some of you expected this. But anyway, I turn on my phone and the first thing that pops up is the United States government, along with sleepy Joe Biden, the Democrats and the rhinos are seriously considering bringing back the draft. Yeah. And they want to do it because they feel we are very close to having a war against Russia and China. How is it Donald J. Trump was able to be in office for four whole years and actually have working relationships with people who are supposed to be our enemies right now? In fact, for four years, Donald J. Trump actually worked out language, working language, with countries that were our enemies for years. Remember? North Korea, China, Russia. And then he was attacked for working with Russia. And in fact, they actually tried to set him up and say he was a Russian spy. Because this country, the people who are there right now, have wanted to have war with Russia for years. It's all part of the depopulation program they're running right now. Right? Send us to war with Russia. Potentially, Russia and China get some nuke drops. Millions of people die while they're laid up in their nuclear bunkers. Get it? So, they're going to send our children to war while their children hide in the bunkers. While their children commit crimes and go free. Hunter Biden? Oh, anyway. That's a whole different story. But anyway... Back to what I was talking to. There is no way in hell my child will ever, ever go to war to what for what is left of what was once the United States of America and is now the divided states of America. There's no way in hell that's happening. I am not going to allow my child to die for people who profit off a of war, who look to start wars. And then send your child, my child, his child, her child off to war to die. Or to be permanently crippled. And then when they come back on top of that, they're not even going to help them out. They're going to be potentially kicked out of VA hospitals for illegal immigrants like they're doing right now. The replacement theory is in full effect. Send your kid, send my kid, send his kid, send her kid off to war and replace them with people who are coming here illegally. Hmm. See, I love my country, but I sure as hell don't like what's going on. And I sure as hell ain't sending my kid to go to a war where the people who are now in charge are installed. You see, we used to vote our leaders in and they were leaders. Remember Ronald Reagan? Remember John F. Kennedy? They were leaders, man. What we have now is people who don't lead. They basically are told what to do by people who are actually running the show. And they decide, we're going to have a new war. And we're going to draft your child. And we're going to let your child die in some foreign war overseas. And you're going to listen and you're going to love it. You're going to fight for a country that no longer has free speech. You're going to fight for a country that no longer wants you to have the right to bear arms. That question whether you should have a large capacity magazine. After you just saw what happened in Israel, they can still ask, why do you need a large capacity magazine? We also used to protect our economy. We had the greatest economy probably in the history of man. Now what do we have? We have a fake economy that's propped up by fake fiat currency that they just keep printing. And it, it's worthless. It's worthless. The American dollar is probably going to collapse soon because other countries see that America is falling, that America is not the powerhouse it used to be. That we preach stuff that we don't even live by. We preach democracy and freedom, yet 
we don't even have that in this country anymore. So how do you expect me to allow my child to go to war for a country that doesn't even live by its old standard? It's not happening. And when you come to take my child, you're going to find out I mean what I say and I say what I mean. People used to and would fight for this country because we were the greatest country in the world. And we actually live by what the title of our country is, the United States of America. We are not the United States of America. In fact, we are the divided States of America. A once great nation that is on the verge of collapse and falling day by day. And people who live here are rooting for it to fail. Do you really think that's something worth fighting for anymore? The only time it's worth fighting for is when they come knocking at your door and you have to protect your family. Other than that, let them fight their own wars. Let them do their own thing and then see what happens when no one's there to step up to the plate and fight because they think they don't need us. In fact, they can't survive without us. They think they are the country these people in government because they do everything that benefits them their donors and their family well guess what get your donors get your own family and then maybe some of us will consider the day we see hunter biden leading on the front lines the day we see nancy pelosi's kid leading on the front lines the day we see mitch mcconnell's children or grandchildren leading on the front lines until that day comes there's no way in hell my kid is gonna fight some more that you people concocted to make money and to reduce the population guess what kiss my ass